everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have an exciting new release from Dior to review. It's their new rose essence which has just arrived. I literally just ran from the courier straight here to review it for you guys. So I'm gonna unbox it, give you my first impressions and let you know how it compares to Rose and Roses its predecessor. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We have hundreds of videos just like this. So do check them out. I have detailed videos explaining the difference between all the different Miss Dior's as well as on my blog, where I have an article going through all the different Miss Dior's, including the discontinued Miss Dior Cherie, which was my favorite fragrance and the fragrance that's inspiring the perfume that I'm creating that's launching later this year. You can pre-order that down below in the description box through Kickstarter. And if you're a regular, do check to see that you're subscribed, turn on notifications. You can sign up to my newsletter down below. And down below, I'll also leave the link to where you can buy the new Misty Your Rose Essence and Rose and Roses um, in UK, Europe, um, North America, and wherever it's available, really. So, Misty Your is best-selling fragrance range for like top three. It's up there with Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and Lancome's L'Evier Belle. Those are the three best-selling fragrances, really. There's a number in the range. Like I said, I loved Miss Dior Cherie, which was um, like over 10 years ago. You've got Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, which was just changed and relaunched. I have a video on that. And then I really love Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet and Miss Dior absolutely blooming and um, two flankers from the range and plenty of videos on them but then recently we had this new release and um, which I really wasn't expecting Miss Dior Rose and Roses which I have here as a sample and I'm actually wearing it now in preparation for this video so this is really all about rose there's rose in all the Miss Dior perfumes but Rose and Roses was like a homage to rose. Very clean, very simple rose scent. There's not loads of other notes going on. It's almost like a rose water scent. There's a hint of geranium. It's kind of fresh, it's very rosy, and it's not a musky old-fashioned rose. It is a really feminine, pretty rose. If you like the Chloe Eau de Parfum fragrances, you'd like this. But I found that because it's an eau de toilette and it's so expensive, it's like over 100 pounds, I found that it wasn't great value for money because within an hour or an hour and a half, I can't really smell it anymore and it needs topping up. So I found it quite a frustrating release for that price. I'd expect it to last better. I ended up giving it to my mum as a gift and I have to say whenever she wore it, you know, she'd come out the bedroom after getting ready and I could straight away smell roses. I could smell rose and roses and it did smell very classy really lovely she loved it she used up the whole bottle so if you don't mind the price it is a beautiful scent so i was definitely expecting there to be a another version of this um like rose essence that's come out now and um, hence why i kept the sample miss dior rose essence is what i have here it was literally released yesterday comes in the beautiful dior packaging it was free next day delivery and i could literally track the courier as he was in the whole area and everything um, kind of stalking him. You get really beautiful presentation for the receipt. The Dior boxes, which um, their cosmetics come in, are so useful. I use them all around the flat. And then, of course, we have the sticker. We have the Dior paper. It's all very high-end. But that's what I'd expect because I paid 130-something pounds for this. Okay, so... Ooh. Okay, so I open it up. What is good from ordering from the Dior website is you get lots of samples and you can choose them. So I've got some of their Capture Total Cell Energy Firming Wrinkle Correction Cream. I know these creams are very expensive, so that's a good for traveling. Ooh, wow. And I even got a cute little Dior pouch with the samples. That is nice. I think their jewelry usually comes in that. So I got a Dior Joy Intense sample because I didn't have the sample of that. I got the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in a mini. I use the Lip Maximizer like every day. I'm obsessed with it. I've used it since it came out. It has this tingly minty feeling and it feels amazing and it leaves your lips so hydrated for so long. It is worth the money. I'll leave that link down below because I can't recommend it high enough. I have it in all different colors. I got a sample of Rose Essence. Now that is really pretty. The presentation, the box, very different to the other Miss Dior's. Oh, and they've given me a lipstick sample as well. So the samples are good. 
So here's the actual perfume. Um, so it's so different packaging to normal Misty Ore packaging. The Misty Ores all come in like whitish type packaging with an outline. This is in this blush pink, really different, not what I was expecting. And then this seal here um, is really nice saying that it's made in 2021 in Grasse in France. Grasse um, is down in Provence in France where most perfumers like in Europe learn their trade and it's famous for perfume. I have been there and it does smell amazing everywhere. So I'm gonna open it up and take a look at the bottle. Okay, so here it is out of the cellophane. It has a kind of recycled feel to the paper, which is nice. Hopefully they have recycled it. Just says packaging from responsible sources. And I notice it's still not saying vegan or cruelty free. So to open this up, I think I have to break that seal. So I just pulled it and it's just come apart like that. There's the back, it's like a cardboard indentation. This is so unusual. This packaging must be so expensive for them to make. Okay, so it's got like a little door um, without a hinge and it opens. And then there's the fragrance. So first impressions are as always with Dior, it's beautiful bottle. Miss Dior is the most beautiful bottles in my opinion. They really put time and effort into them. And um, we've got quite a hot pink color to the liquid. We've got Miss Dior on in like a silver metal, rose essence printed on. We've got the CD logo here on this little ribbon. They seem to be using ribbons now rather than the uh, metal bows. And then the signature Dior pattern on the side. You know, it looks amazing, but again, for the price, I want it to look amazing, right? Okay, so it says made in France, 100 mil, 3.4 fluid ounces. So it's beautiful. The first thing I noticed when I ordered this is that it is a eau de toilette. Now, I was sure that they would release a Rose of Roses eau de parfum, and especially with a name like Rose Essence, that usually means it's gonna be more concentrated, like an extract. So let's see. So I've got Rose and Roses on here and I can smell it, but that's because I only sprayed it like 20 minutes ago. It's a very light spray. Oh, okay. It's quite different to Rose and Roses. Hmm. Really quite different. It's much more, it's a bit more woody. It's a bit greener. Um, it's a different type of rose. Interesting. This is really different from Miss Dior. So what they've actually done for this one, so they've got that grass rose here. However, they've added some quite strong, traditionally strong ingredients. They've added patchouli, which is in the classic Miss Dior Eau de Parfum before it got reformulated last year. It's in absolutely blooming. And then in addition to the patchouli, they've added what's called Guarac, Guarac wood. Now that is a woody, mossy, almost oody scent profile. Now we've not had anything like that in the Miss Dior range before. It's more something that I expect to see in like Dior Poison. And it's also not something that I associate with an eau de toilette. It tends to be in quite heavy oriental fragrances. So I would say that this is coming out quite oriental. It's almost smoky and leathery, and the rose is kind of gone. I get a bit of greenness, but all I'm really getting is the patchouli, that guaric wood, and a smoky rose. So this, I would say that this scent could almost be unisex. It doesn't feel particularly feminine to me at all, and nothing like Rose and Roses, which by the way is almost gone. So I have to say my first impression is I'm quite taken aback and surprised. It's absolutely not what I expected. The branding, the bottle and the scent don't match at all. I would have called this something like rose wood or I probably wouldn't have even have called it and, and branded it to be all about the rose because it's, it's not all about the rose. It's about that patchouli and that guac wood, which I can't pronounce. So I feel like the normal Misty or buyer would not like this. Perhaps this is trying to go for a different market. If you're into your more woody oriental scents, I think you should definitely try this. It definitely feels stronger than Rose and Roses, um, but it is an eau de toilette and mm, I'm not sure how long it would last. I think I'm in a state of shock because Misty or 
you know, Cherie was my favourite and I have loved a lot of the Miss Dior's and now we're going into a, a kind of Oudy vibe which is so different to what I associate with Miss Dior. I feel a bit confused and overwhelmed. So for me, this is Soki approved in the sense that if you are looking for that kind of leathery, smoky, woody, oak moss scent, I think you'll like this. If you like the other Miss Dior's, I don't think you'll like this. If you like Rose and Roses a lot, you, I'm pretty sure you won't like this. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you've tried it yet, what do you reckon? Um, did it surprise you as well? Let me know what you think. But yeah, really surprising. Beautiful packaging, beautiful bottle, and interesting scent. <laughs> So that's it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do read all your comments. Um, but that's it. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.